Hello YouTube. Just quickly, a uh, quick video here. Um, low voltage disconnect. With regards to batteries, you don't want your voltage to go below probably about 24, oh, I'm using a 24 volt system, so I say 12.2 volts per battery. Uh, most cheap charge controllers will disconnect at around 11.1 volts, which is way too low and kill your battery. So what this is, is a small circuit which I've made, and hopefully with the magic technology, I'll post a circuit diagram up now. And what it is, it will switch off by this relay. Your load, I mean this will be connected to the inverter in the shed, switch off your load and then it will um, yeah, so it protect your batteries when your voltage drops below its preset value and I think on this one I'll choose 24.4 volts. The one difference between this circuit and the diagram I've posted up is I've replaced the linear regulator, 5 volt linear regulator with this buck supply. The uh, reason I've done that is because it's adjustable and I found it a lot easier to adjust the supply than to adjust the resistor values and get them exactly how you want them. So as you can see I've had to match up all the resistors very carefully, try and get it as accurate as possible. But again, I just found you having this helps, so you can readjust the supply. So I've got it set to what 5.5 volts, which is fine because these 5 for 5 times are rate up to, I think it's beyond 12 volts actually. So you're well within limits of that. And yeah, so throw it in the shed and see what it does. Actually, here's a quick demonstration of it working. So this is. A multimeter connected to the output of the relay so when that's closed effectively the inverter is on and these are my supply voltages so currently the batteries are say sitting at 26 volts and the output is good and everything's switched on but as the supply drops when it gets about 24.4 volts or so it should turn off so it comes there you go Hear the click, relay's gone, relay's gone high, so the inverter is now switched off, and that will stay like that. And of course, now it's only drawing 8 milliamps instead of your what your inverter will be drawing, you know, tens of amps. So, as your battery charges up again, reconnects around about 25, 26 volts, I believe. Yeah, 26 volts. Batteries are now effectively charging or charged. And your relay, your inverter is turned back on again. So that should hopefully save your batteries. Back in the shed, there's a few differences. Um, it's the circuit I've just been built, and it's fitted there. I've just quickly just tied on with a bit of wire, and it's fitted in line with the inverter. I've also added this switch because, of course, the uh, charge controller controls the inverter. But in the winter, of course, the battery's getting low, and I've done it on all the time. So I fit the switch and turn the output of the uh, charge controller on or off. So you see the manual automatic, so to speak. And also I've just put some cloth over the batteries. Oh, I've upgraded my batteries. I've got two there and two there. So they're both uh, 100 amp hour batteries each. So that's 400 amp hours. So happy days. And yeah, so I've also put cloths over them just for the winter. Try and keep them warm. So yeah.